NBC4's Rob Kovacic live in our newsroom right now with more on what those relaxed restrictions will look like and what we can expect. Robert. Colleen and Chuck, in the words of Mayor Garcetti tonight, businesses should take their time and get it right. Though they can reopen as soon as tomorrow, it may not be that fast. Meantime, some say L.A. should have moved slower in reopening one of its most popular destinations. It's the return of retail. I'm committed to getting these businesses up and running safely. Before your favorite L.A. stores resume operations, first, there is a checklist. Ensuring physical distancing, one-way pass, enough masks and gloves for employees, and the doors may open, but only at 50% capacity. Houses of worship, only 25% or less than 100 people. No, you still cannot dine inside a restaurant get your hair done, or your nails. We have to take this one step at a time, but this is a good day for Los Angeles. Tonight, not everyone agrees. It's sudden and it's unfortunate. It just came out of nowhere. Runyon has reopened. It's one of the greatest places in L.A. The Hollywood Hills West Neighborhood Council say they had a checklist, too, including... Individuals counting people entering the gates. There would be rangers there. Uh, there's a camera overhead. There would be drones and things to control crowds. I've been watching about the last 10 minutes or so, and only two out of 15 people have walked in with masks, and there are no rangers here. Tonight, news chopper for Bravo flying above Runyon, marked with arrows guiding hikers through a one way loop. Runyon's new direction, waiting to see if opening now is heading in the right direction. Mayor Garcetti tonight says when it comes to Runyon, there's more staff and crowds will be monitored by electronic counters as well as cameras. Also reopening shared pools and hot tubs at L.A. County condos, apartment buildings, and those that are part of homeowners associations. Up in our newsroom, I'm Robert Kovacic. Chuck, let's go back to you.